Wow, wow, wow. What a start to a Sunday, huh? I didn't go to the car boot sale today because the weather was terrible. It's all damp and soggy. I don't bother when it's like that. You get a terrible turnout. And I'd just like to give everybody else the opportunity for me to not be on the field. One new offer. Let's check that out while we're here. Loving your daily YouTubes. £10. Alan. Alan, live acceptance on that one, baby. We'll take it. So as always, we'll start off by going through the sales by going through the sales today. Chappy sent me a comment and said, um, do you not have notifications on your phone? Why do you always sit down and or notice you always sit down and check your sales on the laptop first thing in the morning? I have notifications available on my phone. I just turn everything off. I've spoke about it before. I turn off my WhatsApp, turn off my eBay, turn off my Instagram, turn off my Messenger. Have more very, very, very restricted. Because otherwise, life just gets way too noisy with everything pinging and pinging and wanting your attention. Somebody's commented, you must look at this. Somebody's done this, you must look at that. No, thank you. I'll pop in as and when I want to. That's just how I like to do it. But I'll send some offers out, 10% on those, and see what we've got to ship out today. Obviously, I've still got two that I haven't shipped out, or three that I haven't shipped out from the other day. You've seen those, though, the PlayStation and stuff. Somebody purchased the Demon Slayer. It wasn't Lucas. Who was it? Liam, I think. Yeah, Liam. Big up again to Liam. Liam picked up the Demon Slayer blanket, and he paid... 10 plus post, so 13 quid. I paid £2.50, so I make about seven quid off it. Thank you again to you, Liam. And a massive shout out to you too, Ruby. I'll see ya. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And then on eBay, which you haven't seen yet, is... Okay, so they're gone. £5.95 paid on these Skechers Memory Flex. Sold for £16 all in. Oh, some else. Oh, maybe that's just how everyone just paid, maybe. See, my iPad has notifications on some stuff, but I keep my iPad away. I don't have it with me all the time. Box C. Point of sale system. Sold for £17 all in. On a previous video, I told you that I've got loads of auctions ending in the next day. Because I did like two or three days of auctions. I lied. They're all ending today. I didn't realise there was an extra day on it. My brain wasn't working. Box D. Two from Box D now. Had this listed on Vinted for £2. It's a Mighty Max thing. It wasn't selling, so I listed it on eBay for 6 7 quid. No, 6 99 Because obviously after fees and postage, you'll be left with about 2 quid anyway. So I listed it for 6 £6.29 £6 was used because of the coupon code. And that's what it sold for. So I'm probably left with about 2 quid anyway, regardless. My mother-in-law's just turned up. About to get interrupted. And then we've sold this pre-owned Xbox 360 wireless controller for £26.99. Still in the original box. Hello. Good morning. You all right? Yeah. How was your holiday? No, I'm glad you got there. What does it sound like you got a fucking flu for? What's that? Fury, fury. Sound well? <laughs> it's just one they use over there. Oh, very really nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're not on the, I'm not on YouTube, am I? Yeah, you will be, yeah. <laughs> How was the holiday? Let me turn this off. And then, of course, for £10 from Alan, we have this Star Trek USS Enterprise Hot Wheels spaceship. Do -do 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 -do. So we're going to get those. I've still got to pack the Hay Puzzle, the Jack Daniels and the PlayStation. But they don't need to go out until tomorrow, but I still need to pack them. My mother-in-law, bless her. Yeah, what an eventful Sunday. Didn't go to the car boot sale because the weather was soggy. I was laying in bed last night because I was scrolling through and I saw the Donald Trump rally. I always watch him. I like to see what's happening in the world, regardless. I have no political opinions. And there was an assassination attempt on him. I watched him get shot. Jesus. And then I ended up on a massive spiral between X and Twitter and DuckDuckGo and trying to see what was going on. And then I, 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 I half one, I just gave oh, oh, I'll have to go to sleep. Went to sleep, woke up. There's some more news about who the attempted assassin was. Pictures of him no longer in, no longer with us. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyway, let's not dive into that too much. What new vintage sales? I don't think so. Have I? Yes, I have. Revel kit. What box is that in? Box D.
Well, that's interesting. Huh, it's there. A case of putting things in the wrong skew box. Paid a pound from a car boot sale, sold for five pound on Vinted. Had it listed for eight pound on Vinted, but we'll let it go for that. Yeah, I, had, I said box D, so I had it in box E, weird. Going on from my previous video, SKU systems are fantastic if you use them correctly. Goodbye! Yeah, but otherwise they eat through the... Yeah, I need to kill them. You have to get a catch-all. Yeah. Bye! Bye! She doesn't care, she doesn't care. Yeah. Right, that's the sales. I'm going to get some of these packed up and then I'm going to start working on doing some listing today. And then I'm going to start working on just hammering out some photographs, getting a digital def poll going on and just do some work. It's only 8.39 right now. Alexa, what's the time? Good morning, Ricky. The time is 8.39 a.m. Enjoy that, guys. <laughs> Do any of you guys watch those videos from the guys at Flawless Cleaning Services? What they do is incredible. They basically, I can see what they do. Obviously being a YouTuber, I can tell what they do. They've got a lot of subscribers now. So they raise money through making YouTube videos. And then what they do is they invest that money back into helping people who are in need. So they go around like houses that are overgrown gardens and say, can I help you with your garden? Are you struggling? And then they'll do it for free. I'm currently watching this series with Jim, a guy called Jim. They went around to do his garden, which he hadn't been in for like 20 odd years. It was like a forest. The day that he got, they got there, his roof had collapsed on one of his outbuildings. So they fixed that for him, done a whole new roof. Now they're four days into the garden, but I also know what's coming up. They're going to try and, well, they have, they're fundraising to, Rip down his old building. They're going to go fund me for this one because it's obviously quite a lot of money compared to what they normally do. They normally offer their time and services and they do invest money as well, like the roof. But they're going to knock his old building. It's basically, he's an old man caring for his bedbound wife. Going to knock his out building down and build him a whole new downstairs level where he can sleep so he can sleep downstairs with her. Wet room and stuff. I would love to be in a position to do something like that one day for, for people. Just constantly doing stuff like that. For my own selfish reasons, of course, I'll get a kick out of helping people. I just think, great job they're doing. So if you haven't watched them, Flawless Cleaning Services, go check them out. Great to watch, especially when you're listening and stuff and doing your postage like I am. I'll just finish mine now. I was going to stop on Liam's, but I thought, started now, I'm going to finish. So it's nice to be ahead of my postage. That's great. I'm going through the garage looking for some stuff to list and I found a box full of these cameras. We've got an SX710 HS and a 240 HS, but they both need batteries. So I've just popped onto Amazon to grab some. It's now 10 o'clock, 9.59 or something like that. And it says they're going to be here by 10 p.m. tonight. You can't get better than that, can you? No wonder everybody on eBay expects super fast delivery times. But you've got Amazon out here absolutely marathoning their parcels. Different platforms, I mean, different folks, different strokes and all that. I just felt like it was something I wanted to share with you. I'm, I'm impressed. Which means now, when 10 o'clock comes tonight, my brain, when it arrives, is not going to be able to say, it's okay, just, it's delivered now, check it out tomorrow. I'll have to run back in the garage, charge up the batteries and test out the cameras. It's just the way, I, just, it's just the way my head works. Something's going on in the neighbourhood. No, it's not, it's just somebody leaving their driveway. Very standard neighbourhood stuff. I've decided, <laughs> I grabbed the box from off the shelf and just emptied it on here. It's full of electricals that need testing and sorting out before I can sell it. I'll keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and it's never going to get anywhere if I don't do anything. So I've managed to get a few things tested and checked out. We've got these two Sony World Time radio things. I'm going to sell everything as spares or repairs if it needs that. These are going to be spares or repairs. That's going to be sold as working and that's going to be sold as working. So I'm just going to go through it all and just... <laughs> Just bite the bullet, otherwise, because I've got boxes and boxes like that. That one there is full of random stuff. Box there full of random stuff. Um, a few little bits underneath there. It just needs to be grabbed through, do you know what I mean? I like knowing it's there. It's a nice safety nest for me when it comes to not having much stock. But also, I've been, this. some of these boxes are like nearly a year old. That's ridiculous. A year. Crazy. The stuff's going to come back in and replenish itself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on doing that for the next few days maybe especially not having a car boot sale on 
I spoke to a couple of people who went and I probably could have gone to be fair, but I wasn't going to bother getting soggy with less tables and reduced sellers there. Reduced sellers and increased resellers. Just wasn't, I, can't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't get down with that fight. I'm not asked about it. I don't get FOMO. I don't go for the fear of missing out. I've got plenty of stuff here. So if you can't make it to a car boot sale for any reason, or the reason is a good reason that you can't go or don't need to go, then don't. Don't get FOMO'd in to going and stressing yourself out. Or if you want to live that warrior lifestyle, battle yourself, get out there, get what you can. I'll do that nearer the winter months. I mean, just look at all these sat navs, but also look at all the iPods. We've got Goodman's mini disc player, 16 gigabyte, 8 gig, another 8 gig there. Black one, I've never seen that one. Oh, the screen's definitely gone on that. What's that one there? 32, 32. Fitbits galore, Commodore sound expanders, Goodman CD players. I've got remote control, but I've also got. There's, oh, I just found another box full of random stuff. But this here is full of remote controls that I need to go through. Some good money there. I'm not going to get sidetracked. We are going to stick on this one for today and get that done. Now, I did say to John when I saw him at the Chinese that if I have an electrical bundle, I'll message him to sell it to you. So if you're watching, John, I meant it when I said it. But I feel like I want to just go through some of this stuff now. There's probably going to be some more bundles of stuff that I get around to. I'll message you then. I'm going to record this bit now because later on today, I'm probably not going to be able to speak at all whatsoever. I'm actually going to have some dentistry work done, meaning my teeth are going to be knackered. I'm trying to hide a very naked Daddy, Ada. She is, yeah, after preschool. So I hope this fits into the video somewhere from yesterday. Yesterday was a slosh video. Who cares? Anyway, it is what it is. By 11 a.m. today, I am going to have no feeling in my face. Blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you enjoy. Toodaboo. I've just come out of dentist and I thought it'd be funny to film a little snippet while my mouth's all numb. <laughs> uh. So I'm not allowed to eat or anything like that. For ages, my mouth's still fucking numb, but I still want to go and check out and have a look and see what's in these little shoppies. So, can't stop me. <laughs> Hello. Got some good little bits. But I'm going to have to show you those tomorrow. So tune into the next video and I'll see you there. Sorry about the mishmash. <laughs>